We are here in the exhibition Clash. It's my first solo exhibition with Ketelair Gallery here in Antwerp. It's a conglomeration of very new works with a combination of uh, older works where we thought like it could give also a good overview of the topics and the way I'm working. So where I'm sitting here uh, now is um, the room where I made an installation with the invisible creatures. The roots and the basement of, um, of that figures are camouflage, uh, military camouflage costumes, let's say, which are made actually for make the military, the soldiers invisible and to not get shooted or to shoot other people to death. That's the only reason why this kind of costumes are existing. So what I'm done here is like to take them away of the human, of the using and making it unfunctionalizing. Yeah, and I think this is a good image actually for the whole exhibition and the whole other works and the way also I'm working is like um, the question of our purpose somehow and to find our role also in our society and how much also um, crucial things we are doing inside of the world or to the world and a kind of an investigation maybe uh, through art uh, is what I'm doing. It's a kind of a sociologic also approach and trying to find images uh, and open questions where we maybe usually uh, think it's normal uh, what is going on. In the second bigger room here, um, I present three uh, big paintings. They are also based on the invisibles, uh, but here as, as, as an image where it's something between figurative and abstract, there are and uh, they're doing actions inside of that paintings. In one, for example, it raises one arm uh, and it looks like it jumps and it looks like it maybe celebrates or making party and dancing, but also it looks like it could throw at that moment a stone or are raising its fist. There are like uh, kind of actions where it depends also of, of the visitors and their angle maybe to see it and their background actually of their lives, how they interpret this works. These three paintings are surrounding the work Agony. The work Agony is actually that what the world also sees, it's a fight between life and death. Uh, it's a taxidermic sculpture where a fawn and an owl is seen. And what I've done is, or created a picture, let's say, through that sculpture that I didn't expect the laws of nature, let's say. So usually the one who oppresses or wins that agony fight, I turned it upside down. So it's a kind of a symbolism of uh, resistance and not accepting giving rules inside of our society we're living in. The drawing series traces are actually drawings as a performative act also. Um, it call, I called it traces because actually it it is meant to be a trace of myself. The idea, the first idea was like, like what was the first trace also in an artistic way of human being? And that was the hand, actually, what we know on the cave. So I started actually to portray my weak hand with my strong hand. So that was the important action what I wanted to do. This was like the beginning that I uh, started to make it like a ritual in my studio to focus on my hands and use my body as a part of the drawing. 
and uh, doing it, it in a regular way. And what we see here is like the first time shown in, in, inside of the gallery here uh, of the works you can see here. If we enter the gallery and then go through that long way, we see at the end me in a portrait, in a self-portrait. The self-portrait called In My Pants. And what I'm actually doing is they're just not moving at all, focusing also the middle of the camera, so also the visitor at that, uh, in that sense, and pee in my pants. So by peeing in my pants, I wanted to show my fragility, my insecurity also as a person, as an artist, as a man, as a human being inside of the society who have problems to deal with the things uh, which is surrounding me. In this space uh, of the basement, I present only one work. It's the work Crisis, which is a huge installation of a neon work. It seems like an advertisement, but actually the source or the form actually of that typography was an unconscious act of myself. Unconsciously, I wrote the word crisis. And it is a quite aggressive work because it's in a way very fragile. You're, you're afraid to get closer to it because it's full of electricity also and the sound of electricity is there. And at the same time, it's very attractive. It also raises the questions of what actually is a crisis. For whom is what a crisis? We decided to use actually the library space also as a place of display. And uh, there is uh, the work uh, uh, wood blocks and wood cuts, what I made, were uh, based on, let's say, the first reproduction technique and in thoughts of a period of time where we're living now where reproduction is also revolutionary through social media and how we can reach people in a very easy way. I created that um, wood blocks and wood prints as a comment of the fastness and quickness of getting news or getting informations and thinking that you get these uh, about complex questions, very easy answers. There is another part of the exhibition. It's a public art intervention, which is close to the gallery. The whole building of the Hotel Pilar is used to be the installation locked up. And there are portraits of people who are at the moment actually uh, in prison because of their political actions and nothing else. The freedom what we, what we think we are living in is, is something that we have to work on that all the time uh, to protect it. It's a direct um, dialogue with the public in Antwerp and hopefully it um, also brings up a bigger discourse through that image I created.